sleep today? What time? No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh. five, six, oh. seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, wait. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. How's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. Now, yeah, you want to get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm going to speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. So they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was going to have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> Do you think blogging caller ID will hide you? <laughs> I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid prank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine? He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, 
I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. See how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. Or an old item. Well, the call came from somewhere in the loop district. But that's as far as I can see. Okay, I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Nice day, isn't it? Finding everything okay? Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DedSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is Come paramount. Back anytime. So we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, no
I've got better things. TOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Should be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. cover something for me. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to take his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start and all I'm asking of you. 
All right, fine. I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me put you out. I said I'd handle it. It's the job. Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. <laughs> 